All right. This is a little point that I came across and it's connected with this present Sabbath reading. Let's go through the Sabbath chart right here. Uh, Okay, let's see right here. The 39th. Let's zoom this up. 39th. Um, Okay, here we go right here. This is it right here. Yeah, Higu to his eyes. Yeah, no. Yeah, Higu to his eyes. Yeah, no. Or Hukat. Hukat. Hukat or Hukat. Now, as we went over before, that was from Numbers 19. Begin Numbers chapter 19, verse 1. To numbers uh, 22 and 1. All right. Now the name, the distinctive word, right here is hukat or hukat, hukat. Now, in the study that we were doing on Torah, a recent study on Torah, let's bring up this window right here from the IOTA program. Now, in the IOTA program or the Yota program, here it goes right here, the Yota program. We were looking up Torah, you know, looking up root, root words in the scripture and in the Bible now. Uh, what's happening here? All right, so here we go right here. Okay, we have um, right here. This is, a, this is the word. This is the word, hukat. Huka, hu, hukor. They, they pronounce it. They give you this pronunciation here. But if you look at the Hebrew itself, this is a suggested pronunciation. Chuk or actually chuk ah. The only thing about this IOTA program, this Yota program, um, this uh, uh, Met Af Kedus um, hard Bible software that has the Strong's, uh, as you can see up here, the, the Strong's Hebrew and the Greek dictionary. We'll do a little tutorial for this, so that brothers and sisters who might still be um, a little bit challenged and hard wise can utilize this software. It's pretty excellent software here. As you can see, uh, let's get the cursor right here. As you can see, as you can see, it has the Amharic here. Now, let's go into this word in the other way. Let's go to the, click on what's this tab, the second tab, Mi'raf Maucha. We click on the Mi'raf Maucha. Here it says the Belui, Belui Kidan, the Belui Kidan, or the Old Testament, the Old Covenant. This is the Orit. This is the five Orit right here. You see the five Orit right here. You have the five Orit right here, all right? Five Orit, and this is Orit Zechulqa which is numbers, also known as numbers. So we click on that here. It just changed to Orit Zechulqwe. And chapter 19, chapter 19, click on 19, chapter 19. Let's go to chapter 19. And here's the two verses right here, all right? Now, there's a selection right here where it has... Amarinya, the Amharic, where you can look at it either with the King James or without. So sometimes when you open the program, it's like this. So if you're linguistically challenged, this may be a little bit difficult to see where you're going, but we're going to give a little tutorial that will help out. But anyway, let's get to the main point of this this particular message here. So this is the Amharic, the English, and this is the 39th Sabbath, like the, the, the 39th Sabbath study. Right, and the 39th Sabbath study, this is uh, Ori the Hulkwe, chapter 19, Asalazatang, Ek Musenina Aronin, and Dihibulo Tana Garacho. And the Lord spake to Moses and, and to Aaron, saying, Ek Ziabihir Zezazo, Yehigu, Tizaz, Yehino, Melkami, Melkami, 
Nawurima Yalila Batin Ken Abarima Yala Te Chana Batin A Gidir Gidir Yamet Ulihizen Le Israel Lijoj Nigaracho. Now over here, this is where it says, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. Now, this is the Amharic, right? This is the Metaf Kedus, the Amharic of the Metaf Kedus that we study from. Now, the key word, let's go to up here for a moment. Let's bring it back right here. Let's go up here for a moment. As you can see, as you can see, this is the, it says here, Kalat Mephalegia, which is a word search. You can go there, which is a word search. And we were searching the word Hug, the word Hug, how we, which is the word for law, searching the word Hug. But what we're going to do is, let's click on the red. When you click on the red right here, what comes up is this right here, the sidebar. Now, over here is the Strong's Hebrew Greek Dictionary. The Strong's Hebrew Greek Dictionary, right? And over here is the Amharic. And down here is the King James Version. Then if you scroll over here, you have KJV, the King James Version with the Strong's number. So... When we now, Numbers 19, this is the ordinance of the law. So let's click on that word ordinance. Now when we click on that word ordinance, over here under the strong C with the Greek dictionary comes the 2703 or hukah. 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 Or hukor. Hukor. Actually it's hukah. And they say it's the feminine of 2706 and meaning substantially the same appointed custom man or ordinance statute it says see the hebrew 2706 now the 2706 now this is some of the bible references for the hukah then we have like genesis and when you click on that down here comes in the english king james version and halas lasi the halas lasi bible and one can search this, for example, the first time that hukah appears in the Hebrews in this chapter right here, Genesis 26 and 5, where it says, Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws, then here's the Amharic down here where it says, Ori ze fitret. The Mi'ra for the chapter Haya Sadist 26, Kutr Amist 5, it says, Abraham Kalena Samto Alena, Fur Dina Tizazain, Sir Atena Higainim, Terboko Alena Higainim. Now, the word that we're looking at right here, statutes. Now, in this, statutes, we can count it like this, my charge my commandments my statutes my laws so it's the third of the four so here we have for Dane, one my my judgment is Isaiah my command here it says commandments sir attain my sir art my statutes and then lastly but not least it says he my laws at Abuko Alina that Abraham Abraham that Abraham kept he kept he heard my word or he obeyed my word as it says he obeyed but literally Bamarinya it says Abraham Kalena Sema to Alina for Abraham heard my Kale he heard my Kal now the point of this, because there's an interesting connection with this uh, uh, hukah, hukah and 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 uh, hukah, hukah, right? There's an interesting connection. Now, when we look at the Hebrew, we click on the 2706. It says this, 
And this is what brought it to really brought it to our attention. Twenty seven zero six it says Hulk or Hulk A. Hulk. Right? And it says from the twenty seven ten. And down here we can click on that. But let's just look at the, the definition right here or the, the, the meaning right here. It says for Hulk now we want to show that the word Hulk is related to the word hug, hug, the word hug, hug in the Amharic, which is the usual word for law. Hug is related to this word hawk or hawk a, hawk a, hawk, right? From it's the twenty seven ten, and it says an enactment, hence an appointment of time. An appointment, what kind of appointment? An appointment of time space, quality, labor, or usage, an appointment of time, an appointment of space, an appointment of quantity, excuse me, quantity, an appointment of labor or usage. It says appointed, bound, commanded, convenient, custom, decree, or decreed. It says do, law. It says, it says measure, x, necessary, ordinance or even ordinary that's why they did this right here ordinance or ordinary portion set time it says statute task for the root word here hook as in hook a now it says see the hebrew 27 27 10 now words derived from or related to right they said this word where we went there but it gives some verses now, in doing a research, the first time we find that, let's go to the Mephelegia, Mephelegia, the Alat Mephelegia. As you can see right here, this is the Orit Ze Sitret. This is Tesselagiu, Kal Hareg Hig, is 333 times. Atik Sochen Asa Genya Tual is found 333 times. Here, the Orit Ze Sitret, the chapters. This is Genesis 47 and 26. It says, Yosef him le ferona kala honechu ka kahenatua midur bekara amisa tenyao ij le feron le feron and dihona begibit a midurus kazare and the rest hug adaragat. Now just, just note this. It's 27. 47:26. Now let's go back to the Kutera uh, Matenya, the, Kut, the the Kutera Matenya, which is which is the verse study. Now in the verse study here we have 47:22 and 47:26. Now when we go to 47, let's go to 47:26 first, just to make our point right there. It says, this is what we just read in the Amharic. It says, and Joseph made it a law over the land of Egypt to this day that Pharaoh should have the fifth part except the land of the priests, only which became not Pharaoh's. Now, when we... Um, Look at the Amharic. This is the very same Amharic that we just read. So the the the, the respective word here is still related to hawk, but this is it says here the word is defined as a law. I just want you to note that it's defined as a law. Elsewhere, it's called a statute. Now this is going to bring us to another interesting reasoning right here. Now let's just go to the the verse before that because there's only the land of the priest um, bought he not. For the priest had a portion assigned of fowl and did eat their portion which fowl gave them. Wherefore, they sold not their land. So they didn't sell their lands. A very interesting portion of uh, uh, Hebrew history and scripture. Let's uh, bring this a little a little tighter in so we can see it more in more in one view. Okay, there we go. So now here the word is different by Marinya in the Amharic of the Met of Hadassalasi's um Bible and Hadassalasi's Torah where it says Oritze Fitret chapter Arba Arba Sabat forty seven 
kuter verse haya hulati kaina tena midar bicha al geza al geza kaina tu alfer on zend dargo ya genu na barna for onema ye set at your winner der goa ye belluna bur. Silazi him a midracho ala shetu, which is basically a very good one in the same translation as as the above, as you see right here. All right. Now, the reason why we're going through this right here is because we want to link this, this, uh, a hookah. From the Ethiopic word hig, we're going to see how it's related to Ethiopic word hig. The last reference we're going to look at is the Hebrew, right here, the Hebrew uh, 2710. When we get to the Hebrew 2710, we have the word hakak, hakak, or hokak. Now they say that this is what? They say a primitive root properly, it says a primitive root properly to hack. It means to hack or example to engrave as in judges 5 and 14 to be a scribe simply by implication to enact laws being cut in stone or metal tablets in primitive times so from this is a primitive this is a primitive root word hakak hokak right which is related to the ethiopic hug hug or hik hak in the arabic they say hak which means truth a primitive root properly to hack or to engrave, and they have a example here, Judges 5 and 14, to be a scribe simply by implication. What's implied now in the meaning is to enact, as in laws, to enact laws being cut in stone. In other words, hieroglyphs or, or cut in rocks, you understand, or cut in stone, or metal tablets like the Ten Commandments, like the ancient Kamite mythos and the Mystir in primitive ancient times, or generatively prescribe, appoint, decree, governor, grave, you understand, grave, uh, a lawgiver, note, portray, to print, or to set. Then they give a Hosts of related meanings. Now, what was interesting when we look at the, the 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 meanings of the primitive root, right? Which look at the primitive root one more time. All right, that's twenty seven ten, right? Twenty seven the the, the twenty seven ten, right? Now, when we scroll down, the Bible references to the twenty seven ten hakak or hokak is forty nine ten forty nine ten. And here it brings us now, now we kind of come um, to what is obvious, referential to where we, where we are, is Genesis 49 and 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a law given from between his feet, until Shiloh or Shiloh come, and to him shall the gathering of the people be. Now, Orit Zephitret, um, the Torah of the creation, 49, Arba Zet and Kutera Aser, um, verse 10, it says, Better men gist a co Yehudite Ephah. Ye Gejima Zenga co Grochu Makakel, Gej Yehono is Kimet Adres, Ye Ahaza Metazema Lersu Yehona. Now, the word here is Zeng, and Zeng is a certain type of staff of a ruler, usually a staff that has at the at the edge, it could be like a spear-like staff, you understand, like a stick, but, but a, a particular kind of staff when it's talking about the, nor a lawgiver, nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Now, what's interesting is when we get to here, we basically get to the, the the root now it has derivatives now as we go to some of the derivatives we have uh hook og hook coke or fully who cook who coke from the 2710 appointed hook og a hook hook a place in palestine then they spell it as hook hook right 
and it's a it's, it's like two times we have Judges 19. They went thence to Hukok. Now let's look at the Bamarinya. In Bamarinya, you see it down here. If you can see it right here, is Hukok, Hukok, right? Hukok. Then we have in First uh, uh, Chronicles 6:75 and Hukok with her suburbs and Rehob with her suburbs. The Metaf is in a Mawa'illa Keramawi, Raf Sidis, a Kutera Sabah Miss. It says, Hook Ok Enna, Me Semur Yawa, Reabina, Me Semur Yawa, in other words, this place and the suburbs. So it's territorial. Now we find it to be a territorial location. Now we're going into more of the expanded. The root of the distinctive name of the 38th Sabbath, the 38th Sabbath, which is called Hukah Hukat, right? Now let's go back to this root right here, just to just do due diligence to cover some of the basic, the basic uh, reference. Here we have Chekak, Chekak, right, from the 2710, an enactment, resolution, decree, or thought. Remember earlier we were talking about ideas, thought for Hebrew 2710. Now, this is found in two verses, Judges and Isaiah. Let's look at that. It says, the princes of Yisachar were Deborah, Eve, and Yisachar, uh, and also Barak. He was sent on foot to the valley for the divisions, for the divisions of, uh, of Reuben were, that were great thoughts of heart. It says Met Afemesafint Mirafa Mista Kutrasra Mist it says yeah uh Yisa Korin Malik Ocha Kadi Bora Gar Nebaru Yisa Korinma in the Barika Nebr Ka Igru Bekwala Wode Shalek Owa Chekulo Chekulu be robela fesa show chat egeba bizu yeleba ma mena tat nebre. Look at that, ma mentat, amenta, amenta, which is related to the the wilderness of the Egyptian mythos or the. But but it means a state of 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 not just thoughts but almost doubting. It's interesting. It, 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 it's a it's a particular connection here. Pay careful attention to the momentat, the momentat that's right there. Now, when we go to, to 10 and 1, we have Isaiah uh, 10 and 1. It says, Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees, that which right grievousness, which they have prescribed. Tinbite Isaias, Rafa, Serakakut, Era, Andis, Kahulet. In fact, in them hard, these two verses are tied, but we'll 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 touch on this as um Mebala to Chima uh Kimiya Chowa and the Honua Deha de Go Chinim Biza Biza Bizacho and the Yadarguwa Ye Deha Winna Ferda Ya Tam Muzen Ye Chigrenya Winema his bena ferda ya aguadulu zen. Ye gifima tizazata lemi yaz yazizu kufu kufu nema sifeta le mi le mi sifu woyo lacho. So we we're just going through all of the relative meanings for this and the, and the related words. This is what when we study to try to be thorough, to be thorough, and then it, we we come back to our present. Um, word here, hok, hok a hok. Remember, in this particular Sabbath, um, Sabbatical 19 and 2, uh, this is the ordinance of the law which Yahweh, the same Yahweh, hath commanded, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein there is no blemish upon. Of uh, no blemish and upon which never came yoke. 
And this is the ordinance, the ordinance. Once again, we click on that word ordinance, 27, uh, and we have hukah. Now, our last exhibit, the last exhibit that we want to touch on in connection with this, because we're about to go into Balak, 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 right? Balak, which is the, the 40th the 40th sabbatical and that will be coming up the new the new the new light or the, the, the next the next segment but when we touch on let's go to now this is this is from uh ethiopic uh grammar by august dillman now this is a very interesting very interesting section let's pull out of the page for a moment and and let one see the why this is a PDF this is a PDF file but it's in a book called uh, Ethiopic Ethiopic um, Grammar um, August Dillman and in studying this book let's bring it right here um, it says um, talking about different voweling the 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 the, the, the schwa the schwa mobile, uh, the different pronunciations. Um, but here's what we would say. Okay, amene, amene right here, amene. Let's bring it up one more degree. It says amene, he believed. And here it got the Arabic, you understand? Emina, emina, the emina. Then I have kabra, he was honored. And then it has the Arabic um 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 ka kabire or kabure ka kabire kabure and it says yagabur and then once again it has the Arabic it has yebarik right then yinger then it has uh, the Hebrew or 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 or, or yiktor 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 which is interesting. They they connect that right here because of the relation to the Arabic um um yaka yaka tub yak tub then they have antimu antimu in the g is which is like you or you all and then it has has an antum in the Arabic is antum then after that we have the word hug. Now, I want you to notice this right here. We blew this up a little bit. You see this word right here? It has, it, 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 it has, it has the, the, the word hug. You see what the hand is? Hug. 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 Which means law. Hug. Oh, and then they have the hawk. That's the word hawk. Relating these two to one another. So the word hug is related to this word hawk or the the Hebrew hawk as in hawk a hawk a is related to the Ethiopic word the Ethiopic hug now this is just a this is a little etymological um lesson and link right here kind of interesting some might not know well where that's going and others might um but it's just to show that when we look for the Hebrew, the roots in the Hebrew, of the Hebrew, we indubitably have to go to the Ethi, to the Ethiopic, to the ancient Ethiopic, as we can see even furthermore right here, the word E, you understand, and and here's Ain, Ain, and A within the Hebrew A, then we have Me. What and then from the Hebrew, you understand we have ma and me, but regularly it proceeds in process of formation from the a or the vowel as the more simple sound where a is shortened as we have gigu, 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 which is guilty from gay, gay, yeah, you understand, or a Huawei captivity and it's. There's a whole list of um, etymological um, etymological links right here. But when we are studying the Ethiopic, 
we find, like it says down here, it says the origin is still very clear. The origin is still very clear in the Ethiopic. And there's, there's some more to that, but the word hug is definitely, as you can see, a whole host of other words being compared even to the Greek. So in the Ethiopic, we have a repository of ancient knowledge that actually surpasses the, the so-called Masoretic, but most of it has not been, um, but for example, right here it says, uh, most of it hasn't been studied and brought to light. It says, all these vowels, once they appear in the word, are as a rule held firmly and tenacious, tenaciously and accompany the word without change throughout all its farther forms and augmentations. No trace is met with here of the manifold alterations of sound exhibited by the Hebrew of the Mesorah. You hear that? The manifold alterations of sound exhibited by the Hebrew, particularly the Hebrew of the Masorah or the traditional Bible of the Latter-day Jews, it says, as a result of altered conditions in the tone, in the manner of tenacity and constancy in the vowels of a word, Ethiopic ranges itself, ranges itself rather with Arabic as opposed to Hebrew. So there's a very good and interesting um, comparison being made. Um, um, as you can see, there's a lot of reference in this. Ethiopic is something like Hebrew in vowel resources. Upon the whole, as you now here, upon the whole, Ethiopic is something like Hebrew in vowel resources. And indeed, in its short indeterminate, it's determined uh, it, uh, eh, in cases like uh, Keremt, Fere, Gubar, Asa, Tegibri, Asa, Tegibri, it possesses a sound quite resembling the Hebrew schwa, mobile, and this shortest and most figurative kind of I may always be compared with the schwa or the shiva, the schwa. Other cases in which an extremely fugitive vowel of this kind has to be resorted to in order to help the pronunciation will be described farther further on. So this is Ethiopic um this is Ethiopic grammar right here and we're gonna move on to some other related um some other related uh some other related uh teachings. So give thanks. More to come.